But heading down south now, in just a few hours, more than 150,000 people will flood into the Las Vegas Convention Center for the 2015 Consumer Electronics Show. Our gadget guy, Mike Yanni, has been there since Saturday, scoping out what's hot this year, finding the weird, the wonderful gadgets everybody will be talking about. And hey, Mike, what's up with the helmet? I think it's a good look. I it's, it's safety first, Tara. It's busy down here, right? There's going to be elbows up, and I, I need a helmet. No, actually. Forms of tra personal transportation, I've got a new one. I always have one every year, right? This one, though, has a Calgary connection. This, uh, Kyle, who's from Calgary, designed this. This is one wheel. This mimics snowboarding on dry land. So there's an accelerometer inside the wheel in the middle. And if I shift my weight forward and back, I move forwards, I move backwards. Now, the wheel is so big because you can actually go off-roading on this. So imagine taking this out on a trail and going over bumps and logs and things like that. Really? I'm not going to off-road. I'm going to stick to the carpet here this morning in the <laughs> Sony booth. But I am going to make my way through the booth. It's a huge booth here at Sony. And I want to show you a couple other prototypes. Look at that. Step off there. This, let me take my helmet off here, is Smart Eyeglass from Sony. This is a prototype here on the show floor. I'm going to put this on. So these smart glasses actually have a little heads-up display. You can't see it, but right here I can see a GPS and I can see actual a speedometer to see how fast I'm going. So imagine being on your bike or running and you can actually see trail maps right here just out of the corner of your eye. They're not really doing the whole social media thing and all that. They're sticking to sports with this guy. This is a prototype, but there's another prototype I want to show you here. It's kind of a, a play on this. Put that back down. This is Smart Eyeglass Attach. So the idea is you can actually hook up that little heads-up display onto your own prescription glasses, onto your sunglasses, or your ski goggles. So imagine being on the ski hill and going and you know, seeing your speed and seeing where you are on certain trails. That's a pretty cool idea, but it is a prototype. I'm not too sure if it's actually going to hit the market, but you never know. Some of these things take off, some of them don't. Another prototype to show you here in the Sony booth this morning, the Smart B Trainer. These headphones, Tara, it's pretty cool. They're physical activity trackers built inside. So it's an all-in-one unit. There's sensors right there, so it actually uses the uh, inside your ear. It can tell what your heart rate is. And so from there, it actually gives you words of encouragement if you're going too slow, say, hey, pick up the pace, buddy. Or if your heart is racing, it'll play music that's fast to keep that pace up and going. Once again, another prototype, uh, perfect for the sporty type out there. 4K. We talk about 4K content out there, and we say, oh, there's not a lot of 4K content out there. You can make your own now. This is Sony's 4K Handycam. Now, we've seen these Handycams before. This is four times the resolution of HD TV, but here's what's unique about it. The price has finally come down. This is just over $1,000, uh, which is pretty significant uh, for the fact that it's coming down so fast. This is available next month, actually, in Canada. Now, last but not least, yesterday I had the ring that controls things in your house. Right. I found another piece of wearable tech today because wearable tech is huge on the show floor. Get a load of this. I'm going to turn it on. This is Belty. This is the world's first smart belt. <laughs> so think back to Christmas, Tara, New Year's. You know, we all had big meals. Some of us, yeah, we like to undo that top button, right? After a big meal, let the belly hang out. You don't have to do it anymore. Belty can sense when you're sitting down, things like that, and it'll actually loosen up. So I'm going <laughs> to step back here. Okay, listen for this, okay? Ready? Ready? All right. So it's loosening up. You see that? <laughs> so I let my belly out. Now when I stand up, tightens up, nice and snug again so I can keep walking. There's also a pedometer built inside, so it tracks my motion through the day. On top of that, it tracks your waist. So, you know how you're wearing jeans and they kind of stretch out over time? So yeah. you think you're 32, you go to the store a couple months and like, <clears throat> I guess I'm a 34. Well, this will actually track it on your smartphone. It'll show your waistline every single day and show where it's at. It's belty, it's cool, it's unique. It's a lo getting a lot of buzz here on the show floor, Tara. And it's very subtle. I'm just kidding. It's totally not. Um, Mike Yanni, what is on deck for you? You have a whole day to explore before we connect with you again. I do. In a couple of hours, those doors open up, and it's a madhouse. Uh, We're going to be exploring and seeing what we can find on the show floor today. It's going to be an exciting day. So, like all these gadgets, think about it. The show hasn't even started yet, and we've had all the stuff on the show. So, you can imagine what we're going to bring you throughout the week. Okay, looking forward to uh, seeing what you come up with tomorrow. Gadget Guy Mike Yanni from the CES floor in Las Vegas. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.